Yo, what the fuck is going on, guys? Welcome back to another fire fucking story time, man. Yes, over there, I got you. Over there, I got you. Ooh, whoa, he yelled. Stupid ass. Anyways, welcome back, man. It's good to have you back. You know how this goes. I'm gonna smack the fuck out of this cart before I tell this story with y'all. Don't smoke carts, man. Carts K. Just watch me smoke carts instead. First smoke of the day, it's about 320. I've been up since about 9 a.m. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's <coughs> get <coughs> fucker right into this. <coughs> All right. All right. Oh. All right. All right. So, this story takes place. Man, um, timeline's kind of weird, bro. I don't even know when this story takes place. I'd say a year or two ago. It feels like a year ago. I think it's two years ago because... The last story I told felt like a week ago, and it was a year ago. So I think this was about two years ago. It makes sense because I was a sophomore. I am now out of high school. Two years. It's my first year out of high school. Makes sense to me. Let's say two years. Two years ago, it was cold out. So it was definitely two years ago. Two years ago, it was cold out. Um, it's a normal day. I'm with Jose, Gus. Except today, I guess it's not a normal day because me, Jose, Gus, we go hang out with Pedro. We didn't hang out with Pedro often. But we hung out with him. He's definitely all of our friends. Good friend to all of us. But it's not like we hung out with him all the time. Me, Gus, and Jose, we hung out all the time. So we're at Pedro's house, which is on Jose's street. And by on Jose's street, I mean he's actually across the street. Like, we're, we're neighbors. Not we're. He's neighbors with Pedro. Um, see, I go to Jose so much. I said we're as if it's, like, my house. Like, bro, I feel so comfortable walking into his house. Like, I always say what's up to his family, feel comfortable as fuck, I feel safe, I feel welcome, I feel very welcome, very cool guy, I really appreciate how welcoming he's been to his home, and his family has been welcoming, and they have really nice hospitality, very respectful people, and I respect them a whole bunch for that, so, thank you. Now, let's continue on with the story. For some reason, I remember, first of all, hopefully I can even tell this story, because it's about to get real random in this motherfucker. Dude, is this guy on drugs? Yes, I am. Yes, okay? That doesn't mean any of this didn't happen. I'm just on drugs. <laughs> Sorry. Bro, <laughs> first five minutes we walk into Pedro's. Pedro's a cool guy. Funny fucking guy, bro. Very funny guy, bro. Hell of respect for this guy. Mostly because he's shown me nothing but respect. Nothing but respect. Funny fucking guy, bro. But fucking man, what a character, bro. First five seconds I'm in his house. Dog, look at this sword. Shing pulled out a fucking six foot samurai sword. Like a real sword, bro. Like it will cut through me if he slices me, bro. Like this dude's literally looking like Samurai Jack. He's like practicing his form and swing. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Oh, look at these. He's got ninja stars. They, I feel them. They are genuinely sharp. Like genuinely fucking sharp. Like. They're actual ninja stars. Like from a fucking TV show, like a video game, bro. What the fuck is going on, bro? It's been five minutes and I'm I'm already tripping. I'm high I'm probably high off the cart. But I remember here we also So in this building right now, it is me, Pedro, Jose, and Gus. Um a couple more characters show up. We're going to call one uh, Baja Blast. He's actually been a very good friend. Me, him, and Jose all go back. We all went to the same elementary school. It's like second grade. Me and uh, Baja Blast used to hang out all the time. He also lives in me and Jose's neighborhood. So, you know, it's walking distance. I would always walk to his house as a kid and just hang out. Well, his apartment. Um, his mom was very hosp hospitality-like as well. Very nice people. Um, so, yeah, we go, ba we go back. 
Another person that showed up is uh, Yale. We just gonna call him Yale. Uh, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. If you know me or know the friends I hang out with, it's Yale. Y'all know who Yale is. He's also a character. For different reasons, though. He's kind of just like strange. Like, what you up to, bro? Like, he's kind of always up to something. Like, as if he's not always telling you the truth. Like, what you up to, bro? Anyways, not that it really matters because it doesn't. I don't care what you're up to, bro. I never asked, did I? <laughs> just feels like you are. But, anyways, fuck. Yale tonight because I remember bro we all go outside to Pedro's because we're like hey we got some blunts rolled up let's smoke and I remember Yale and Swipa they're rolling up a blunt and like bro Yale was like the type of guy that made me want to stop smoking because of the way he treated weed and because of the way the weed made him act like bro like he just switch up on you like like bro bro chill don't touch my shit like chill bro like what are you doing like bro I'm just looking at it bro I'm not gonna put it in my pocket <laughs> it's yours bro don't worry I know it's yours, bro. I, I'm your friend. <laughs> Don't worry, bro. I'm, I, I'm just looking at it, bro. I let you look at my weed all the time. I let you touch my weed like it's your weed, you know. So I would hope you do the same. But he doesn't. Very stingy with weed, and I really, really do not respect that shit. I'm sorry, like that's just so cringy, bro. Like, what are you doing, bro? It's just weed, bro. Let everyone else get high too. You're gonna smoke more weed in your life. <laughs> Why not be high and enjoy the moment more with more people high? It makes it more fun. Everybody's high. Yay, we're all having fun. We're all high. Okay. Don't know why people don't see it like that. I, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Who knows? Yeah, Yelp. I don't like the way he acts around that shit. Swipe it too. Swipe it not as much. Swipe it, yeah. They just really love weed, man. And they love it to the point where they're willing to backstab their friends or act different on their friends, switch up on their friends. And by switching up on their friends, I mean, bro, I literally remember, oh, I know we don't hang out with Pedro as much and uh pedro has a couple of his friends i'm not going to give them names we're going to call one of them vape kid because he's literally a vape kid like he's shy anti-social he's a vape kid but um he's a 999 kid <laughs> so yeah we're all outside and he's cool bro he's nice like <laughs> jose and gus are always fucking flaming him and i feel bad for his ass but he's cool he's nice bro um and pedro's always beating his ass uh which happens tonight too we're gonna get into <laughs> we're gonna get into that so yeah um we're just having a smoke session like they're rolling up and i remember i'm like just trying to look at the weed like you know because i'm gonna smoke it too and you know i let you guys smoke my weed all the time so <laughs> come on man what you do what you doing bro uh swipe wasn't tripping but he was like bro bro, bro chill 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 like, i'm like all right bro i'm gonna just walk the fuck out i'm like okay bro anyways that's what i said just like, i'm like okay anyways i'll see y'all when you're done like, i'm gonna be out here y'all roll it up and i'll smoke your weed haha <laughs> fuck you they weren't being stingy towards me per se during the smoke sesh. What I'm getting at is during the smoke sesh, they would like hold it for really long every time it got to them. They always do that, but especially now because they don't know Pedro like that or Vape Kid like that or 999 Kid like that. Like, bro, who cares, bro? It's their house. It's Pedro's house. I know, bro. Come on, bro. Like, we're all just hanging out, bro. There's like nine heads. Like, really, bro? We being like that. And I remember I even saw baja like uh, no nah, i remember i felt bad for baja blast because i saw yale skip baja blast notation and baja blast is too genuine of a guy to say anything like bro speak up bro i know you're super nice but speak up bro personally i don't think he cares which hell of respect like he just didn't care like bro is actually genuinely just a nice guy he just fucking is living life like he doesn't give a fuck baja blast bro i should have said something even like bro why are you skipping baja blast bro i seen that but it was yale's weed so i can't say anything it's like it's yale's weed bro who cares whatever that type of shit it's just like a bad situation it's like bro this is so weird bro like, why y'all gotta be weird about it like, let's just all be friends and smoke weed like isn't that what we all came here to do so yeah yale honestly dips out at this point i think or i don't even know i he's just not really part of the story after this he's just on the couch if he's there i think he dips out though uh i baja blast and his friend so we smoke right we go back inside and we all just sit on the couch we're chopped bro i remember sitting on the, his table like the way pedro's house set up it's a pretty small house nice little house um all the houses in this neighborhood are pretty small oh like compact type houses uh they're all cute though i pull up and lay the layout of the house is like as soon as you walk in the front door you can see the kitchen from the front door i'd say it's like 15 feet 20 feet away uh, then there's the kitchen, the kitchen table, and in front of the kitchen table, there's the couch. Couch is right next to the front door, and there's the TV. And then, you know, there's the hallway behind the TV. So, you know, like, everything that is like 
the area of living, like the living area, is just all right there, right when you walk in. So nobody goes and walks to the hallway and walks to the rooms. It's like, that's a cool layout for a house, personally, I think. So yeah, we're all chilling in his living room, just by the front door on the couch watching shows. I don't know what we're watching exactly. It doesn't really fucking matter. But I'll show it doesn't matter because I don't even think we're really watching anything. We're all having a conversation. And I remember somehow the conversation leads to let's run some boxing fucking matches, man. Let's run some fucking boxing matches. And now also really cool part of the story. Baja Blast is like, hey, I'm about to dip with my boy right here. You want something, bro? Like, he just comes up to me directly. Hey, bro, you want something? Like, he asks everybody. He goes up directly. Like, hey, I've been asking everyone. You want something? Like, really genuine guy. Treats everybody the same. Even Yale. He even asked Yale. Wow. Really respect for Baja Blast. Love you, bro. He even asked Yale. Hey, bro, I'm about to go. So, okay, you want something? He, he asked me that. And I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, bro. And I started pulling out my wallet. Nah, bro, on me. I'm laughing, bro. I'm dog, shut your ass up. I hand him a 20. I'm like, here's for me and everyone else you buy shit for, bro. I'm like, here's for all of us. Like, because, bro, he's literally, like, Yale is taking advantage of him. Other people are taking advantage of him. It's like, okay, bro, well, here's $20 because I'm going to help you because you're helping me and all these other people. So, hey, what goes around comes around, man. Here's 20 bucks. He's like, bro, for real? I'm like, yeah, dog. I'm like, bro, you were going to pay for all these motherfuckers, bro? Come on, bro. Take, take my 20, bro. I'll help you. Bro, bad, bro. What you want? You know me. I, I want me a honey bun. I want me a blue Powerade XL, and I want a protein shake. Thank you, bro. That's all I asked for. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. And that's all I got. Fuck yeah, baby. Hella cool guy. He's he dips and right as he dips, <laughs> he missed a lot, man. <laughs> I remember he missed a lot. He's like, bro, what the fuck is going on when he came back? He says that because as soon as he leaves. I turn around and like, hey, let's box, let's box. I don't know how we got to the conversation, but like, hey, let's box, let's box, let's box, let's box. I don't know who did it first. I think it was Jose. Jose and Vape Kid are on first. Now, Vape Kid, the way he looks is like literally a Vape Kid, bro. Like he's got like pretty big teeth. He's like a little chubby. He's got hair bangs on his eyes, like kind of covering his forehead. He just looks nerdy. He looks like he plays World of Warcraft. I'm not trying to roast him. I'm just saying what he looks like. Like I can roast myself right now if you guys would really want me to. I don't want to because I don't feel like roasting myself. Who does, right? Just makes you think negative about yourself. But if you can't laugh at yourself, then you're lost. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just the truth, man. Um, hopefully you don't take that uh, personally, bro. I Like I said, you're a nice fucking guy, bro. You're a cool guy. I feel bad that I was saying guys always flaming you. But it comes from love, bro. That's just how they, they operate. They flame me all the time too, bro. <laughs> they they raised me into a man, bro. Don't worry. Um, I, got, I spent... When did I meet them? <laughs> when I was like 11, so maybe 10, so I, I maybe 11 to 12. So I, I, I spent a good eight years of my life getting flamed by them. So it's all good, bro. Don't worry. I know how it feels. It's funny. It's just fucking funny, bro. So yeah, got to get out, get that out of the way, obviously, because I mean it. I'm not going to say that if I don't mean it. <laughs> if I don't like you, I'm not going to say that. So yeah, uh, you're cool, bro. Hopefully you don't take that personally. Obviously, I don't think you're going to watch this anyway, so... Who knows? Maybe it gets back around to you, but who gives a fuck at the end of the day? I don't know why I'm still talking about it. I'm super high. Like, that one chief got me fucking mega chopped cheese on a honey bun the Aki way, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, anyways, yeah, they were like, let's box. So it's Jose999, kid. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna just reenact the fight. So, Jose, kids, alright, let's go. Doom, right, quick, punch, boom, another right, quick, punch, doom, another right, quick, punch, just three quick jabs, boom, boom, right to 999 Kid's nose right away, right off rip, no, oh, I'm gonna play with this kid, like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna see what he's like, boom, 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 just three quick jabs, doof, 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 and like, every time, <laughs> every time, uh, Jose hit him, his head got knocked back, like, you would see his head get knocked back, or doof, doof, like doing doing <laughs> like bro and he has glasses too so his glasses are like already falling off he's like hold on hold on he's got <laughs> he's gotta put his glasses on all right 999 kid right hook Ooh, jose boy i'm weaving that shit jose weaves under the right hook 
Oh, a nice jab, bro. Just a mean jab to fucking 999 kid's face, bro. Just another one right to the... Ah, uh, glasses off. Like, oh, shit, bro. Oh, 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 shit, bro. Jose was working this man, bro. Like, this dude was getting the fucking work, bro. Poor fucking guy. Dude, dude, dude. Reeve. Dude, I'm like, bro. Dead ass, bro. Like, this dude got hit with a fucking combo, bro. That shit was funny as fuck. Bro. All right, all right, all right. They went on for a little bit longer. <laughs> fucking 999 kid just getting his fucking ass handed to him, obviously. Like, Jose's weaving any punch that 999 kid throws. And, like, 999 kid's backing up at this point. And Jose's, like, rushing him. It's like, all right, bro. All right, bro. You win. You win. You win. All right, bro. Next up. And by next up, hey, 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 999 kid, you stay. You stay. Pedro's an asshole, bro. Pedro's, like, his friend in quotes. Oh, 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 I'll go. I'll go. I'll box you next. I'll box you next, 999 kid. I'll box you next, 999 Don't be afraid of me. Oh, 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 bro, 999 kid, I bet you won't box, um, um, let's call him, um, let's call him, uh, 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 Don Julio, I bet you won't box Don Julio, like, bro, Don Julio don't even want to box, <laughs> like, chill, bro, and that exactly happened, bet you won't box Don Julio, Don Julio's like, bro, I don't even want to box, Don Julio's the type of guy, bro, he says, like, one word an hour, very, very not talkative, but, what he says is meaningful. He's a funny guy. Um, he, he's he's like, bro, I don't even want to box, bro. <laughs> Everybody just started laughing. We're like, bro, he, leave this man alone. You don't want to box. Then, like, 999 kid just, it, this flabbergasting you. 999 kid starts talking his shit to Don Julio. After he just got his ass whooped by Jose, he says, it's because Don Julio knows that I'll beat his ass. He doesn't want to box me. Why do you want to box me? He's afraid. What? What? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo! Okay, never mind. No, no, no. I can guess you do got some balls on you. Never mind, bro. Now I'm not going to feel bad when Don Julio whoops your ass, bro. And so Don Julio eventually, after fucking like 30 minutes of this, like, he's not, he's afraid to box me. You, bro, you're afraid to box me. Bro, it was like 30 minutes of this, bro. I'm being so fucking serious. I'm not even going to keep reenacting because it was like getting repetitive. It's like, bro, just box the kid, bro. He wants his ass beat. Like, he just wants it at this point. That's what we're all telling Don Hilly. Like, all right, Don Hilly, at this point, just box him, bro. He he wants his ass beat, bro. Just beat his ass, bro. Like, come on, bro. He, he needs his ass beat now. Now he's saying all this shit. Don Hilly eventually puts on his, like, yeah, all right, bro. Let me put the gloves on. Let's go. Bing, bing, bing! Like, start, comes out swinging. It was a sloppy fight, let's be honest. But I think Don Julio won. Don Julio gave him a few good right hooks for sure. Weaved a few good shots. Not that Nike got a few good hits on uh, Don Julio. You know, like a few good right jabs. I, I don't know if they hurt or not, but he got a few good connections. <laughs> it was entertaining as fuck, bro. It was entertaining. It was just like Jose and the 99 kid. Entertaining all the way through. I'm not going to keep reenacting the fights because that would take forever. There was a lot of them. It was Don Julio did it like a couple rounds with fucking 999 kid. And then I go with 999 kid. Bro, it's just the whole world versus 999 kid, bro. Poor vape kid, dog. And so that's like my turn, bro. Bro, Gus pulls me aside. He's like training me, bro. Like I'm Mike Tyson and I'm about to get a ring, bro. I'm about to get that belt, not a ring. I'm about to get that belt, bro. That's a neck. I'm about to get that belt. He's like, bro, I like art. So what you gonna do? You gonna, like, bro, he's literally training me, bro. So what you gonna do? You going He's like showing me. He's like, you gonna put your left arm up, and you gonna left act, sell the left hook. Boom, boom, sell like you're gonna hit, and then he's gonna he's gonna get ready to dodge your left hook, and as he's getting ready to dodge it, come out swinging with the right. Very good tactic, you know. Sell the left, and then let think make him think you're gonna hit. Him. Boom, just come out swinging with the right. He's like, bro, just right hook his ass, bro. As you right hook his ass, boom, jab, jab. Boom, uppercut. I'm like, bro, this dude giving me combos. He he telling me how to do down behind you, square, down behind you, square, down in front of you, circle, left, right, left, right, circle. Like, bro, he's literally giving me the combos, dog. I'm like, I bet. I do exactly that. Left, left. I, bro, when I literally like sell the move, dog, I remember how hard Gus and Jose were laughing because they're like, bro, this dude trying to sell the move. Like, I'm selling the move. Like, bro, it just looked janky. It looked awkward. Like, I'm not a boxer, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> I don't fight, bro. They know that. Y'all all know that. Come on, bro. That's why it's funny. But I'm still going to do it. Come on, bro. I ain't a pussy. And so, you know me, bro. I'm, like, selling the move. And they just start laughing. I do connect the hit, but 
it's just funny looking like it's just funny looking dog and eventually it, it's i feel really bad because like bro he, he can't hit me bro like i just see where his hits are coming from they're just not fast like it's not his fault he's just not fast he's not mobile like that i hit him to the point of his glasses a little bit. I'm like, all right, bro, I'm done. Personally, like, I'm done. I didn't go for very long. Like, bro, I'm done. I don't want to do this. I feel bad. I have a heart. I'm sorry. Call me a pussy. Call me what you want. He's just a kid, bro. And so am I. I'm, I'm a kid beating another kid's ass. Not some I'm really into. I'm all good off that. So, yeah. That was that. And I remember after that, I, I'm just sitting there texting my mom. Yo, I, can I please spend the night? Please spend the night. Please spend the night. Please spend the night. Please spend the night. Can I pee, pee, pee? I don't know the answer, to be honest, because it was like I was arguing with my mother for like 20 minutes. I think she finally said yes, but doesn't really matter because that's really the end of the story anyways. I don't really have anything other to say. If I did spend the night, we just went to Jose's um, and do what we always do. We just fucked around and just watched bullshit. <laughs> um, we just get high and watch some fucking random shit. Like, don't hug me, I'm scared, or like some matrix shit or like some some uh uh what, what is it called jose was showing me one time the the masons some watching the masons or some shit like we we watch some crazy shit like that like we just be high as fuck um it's probably what we did so and uh yeah baja blast after i had boxed um not a night kid like i'm sitting there after and my father's still running around to 99 kid. Boom, boom, boom. He's still just getting his shit fucking hands in. Pedro, especially. Pedro just really wants to beat his ass. I don't know why. Um, but I'm just chilling at the table, uh, kind of by myself. And then Baja Blast walks in and he sits down across the table from me and he's like, hey, here's your shit, bro. Bro, good looks again. Give me the 20. What the fuck going on, bro? <laughs> like, Pedro's boxing him? <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. We kind of all are. <laughs> like, yeah, we kind of all are, bro. You missed a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Hope you enjoyed the story. We did it! I hope you got something out of it. Maybe like a laugh? I hope so, man. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know by liking, subscribing. And if you enjoyed it, I'll probably see you in the next one. Peace out, man. Love you. Bye. If you don't like it, subscribe, you're a bitch!